Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, um, to your very favorite podcast, Camping Buddies. This is episode 12. Um, all of us are healed much better, no longer having COVID or pretending to have COVID. Um, <laughs> pretending? Today, excuse me? I mean, you didn't there have There were some fibbers out there. I was questioning it. Yeah, there were some straight fibbers. Mm-hmm. You but think I was today, trying to make up having? Wait, wait, no, 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 no! Fuck your intro. <laughs> you think I was faking this? <laughs> well, hey man, maybe you're now just you're making it into a big deal. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so just, dramatic. I'm sorry, I keep making such a big fucking deal. Jeez, <laughs> Daddy, chill. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, but today we are not. Joined by Alyssa, today we have a special guest, my good old friend Colin, a.k.a. Mysterio. Colin, you can introduce yourself now. Hey, great to be here, guys. Love to, uh, you know, hear all them beautiful voices. It's a real pleasure to my ear ear canals. Uh, Hopefully, (laughs) listeners will enjoy our voices as well. Oh, yeah. Honestly, yeah, it sound, I think everyone sounds pretty crispy right now. It's pretty nice. Yeah, honestly, Colin would be great for ASMR. Oh, God, he already is. Why don't we do an ASMR episode? Hell yeah. <laughs> you want to do an ASMR episode? I wouldn't like that video. I'll put it in the books. <laughs> I'd report it. It's, it's not for you, Kelly. It's <laughs> for the viewers. Because like, you guys don't have webcams, so they're just using their imagination as to what you're actually doing. <laughs> it's like a guessing game. <laughs> yeah, it's like you hear... You're like someone eating popcorn, but they're really just eating fucking bones or some shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. But, um, anyway, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I was uh, gonna ask uh, Colin why you uh, why you have the name Mysterio. What what's the uh, alter ego there? Oh, uh, that's. I mean, it's really stuck more as a uh, smash alter ego, just for when I'm playing. Uh, you know, um, it you only did, use it for smash. I mean, yeah, pretty much. It it originated in college uh, for smash. Uh, it just it happened to be around the time uh, the Spider-Man film, and we had a lot of people named Colin, so. I became the mysterious one, and it turned in Mysterio for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, it's mainly what I stick with in Smash. It's That's literally cool. so fucking no. The, the, so the, Colin the first... here was voted the mysterious Colin. <laughs> yeah, we're uh-huh. just gonna breeze past that one, Kelly. <laughs> Out of everything he could have been, he did, they chose uh, mysterious oh. Colin. What made him mysterious? Yeah. Um, I mean, it was really just. People think I don't talk a lot, but that's just because I'm usually not the first to talk. So people wouldn't talk to me, I wouldn't talk to them, and they're like, ah, I don't know what that guy's about. Yeah, you're just mysteriously watching from the sidelines until you're approached. <laughs> yeah, basically. And then, and then they don't you, know, like, so So you're a mysterious Colin because they don't know whether or not you're a dick, or whether or not you're nice, or whether or not you have a deep voice, or a high-pitched one. They just don't know anything about you, that's why you're mysterious. Mm-hmm. Pretty much it's, that, that it's not because you're just this anime edge lord protagonist. Uh, that ha- that hasn't seemed to really be the case in any situations lately, uh, especially <laughs> after getting out of high school. That was really uh, a blessing, uh, breaking point. Oh, Do you wear like a cool point. trench coat? <laughs> oh god, no, 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 no! I would say I will admit this: like sophomore year, where like black tight pants and a fucking black tank top and it's just mm. ooh, that's, that's you were a black wife beater myself. to school <laughs> see it wasn't a wife beater it was just like it was a black t-shirt with the sleeves cut off <laughs> oh you i don't know were if that's better or worse. i feel like that's a kyle not really a not really a wife beater but definitely a kyle a black like wife beater is that what it is no he said it's like no, a no, black no. t-shirt with like the sleeves cut off yeah that's like that is a kyle that's like a a dirt bike racing kyle yeah like smashing monster cans on your forehead kind of kyle <laughs> yeah, yeah. But kyles usually have like a 
some kind of logo to represent them, you know, like tap out or something across True. the chest. It was just a black. It was just black. It was <laughs> all like black. a fox shirt. Well, were you wearing yeah. DCs? See, no, I wasn't. I grew out of that in middle school, thankfully. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Damn. Some kid told me that, like, so there's like Roxy and there's Fox, right? Mm-hmm. Was there like a unisex thing? A unisex brand for those two, or was that Fox? I think Fox I was. Yeah. Some told me that's like if you wear that, you're gay in middle school. I was like, what the fuck? And then you just and... went to the store and bought some, right? <laughs> <laughs> I actually stopped wearing all those shirts. I had like a good you're five serious? of them. I never wore them. What the hell? Fifth graders were fucking ruthless. Oh well. Um, High school's more accepting. And I told him, I'm like, I had a good core. Like, I was really strong in my core, and he punched me in the stomach. And I was like, ah, oh. God damn, Kelly. Before we uh, met you, you got bullied the fuck out of. I, I was a little told... faggy kid. I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't <laughs> condone, like, I don't support it, but it's like. Were you always? If, it was, if there was a target. Uh, I, did like, I tell the like, fan did your story? No. Ever since you were like a young kid, that you were a little queer boy. Yeah, so, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I was like, I always wanted to play Dead or Alive uh, three on my Xbox, and I was like, can I play the girl game? Because I thought they were so fucking cool. They're like, no, but that's not a good example because those girls are those totally girls are cool. boobed out. Yeah. They're really cool, but yeah. it was a bad example because that would maybe straight if anything. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see. It was a cover up. A ruse. It was... <laughs> I have a crush on all of them, guys. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah. So, I, wow, we totally fucking went off yeah, the rails. We side started started yeah. Colin but, um, <laughs> just um, just um, a little more introduction of Colin. So, me and Colin are um, good buddies from high school way back when. It feels like fucking forever ago now. I was just mm-hmm. thinking about this today. God, we met like six years ago, I think. It was our junior year. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel so fucking old, man. Was he still wearing the Kyle fit? Dude, I remember, I was just thinking about it today. It's so funny. So the, I think one of the first times like I saw him or noticed him, it was back, Colin, when you would wear um your leather jacket and you had your Clark Kent hair, hairstyle and you wore your yeah. glasses. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. my god, he was Superman. Edgy Superman. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that's, that's super boy. A, the first time we ever hung up. A shift. Yeah, you've gone through a lot of different phases. Yeah, of, like, it was like each year of high school was different, but that's because I basically went to a different high school each year. Yeah. But yeah you just in, like, reinvented just... yourself every year. Seriously. Basically. <laughs> One year but you were the jock. He was... Colin was hella athletic. The first time we like hung out at lunch, he does a fucking backflip out of nowhere. What? <laughs> and and me and our other friend were just like, "What the? This dude's lit!" <laughs> that was do it again. Shit. Literally, they're like, "Do it again. Do it again." <laughs> oh, Imagine God. like Colin just being like, "Oh, should probably make some friends really quick. Might as well do a <laughs> backflip." <laughs> I mean, That's one way to seal the deal. I'm not gonna say it doesn't work. Well, it fucking clearly, it got you here, didn't it? Yeah, it did. <laughs> that backflip changed your entire life. Six years later, and the backflip started it all. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, was it that, or was it anatomy? Heck, dude. Honestly, I regret that class so much. I should have been in your fucking science group. But those fucking idiots took me under their wing. Oh my god. Biggest fucking mistake of my life. I mean, yes. That that class that class was horrible because we had a shit teacher, though. We had the fucking football coach as a goddamn teacher. I no, loved him. Just... But here, wait. Do you remember when we had that one test and mm. everybody failed and he blamed us for not knowing the material that he didn't teach? There was one that everyone failed? Were you not there for that? I pretty sure it was been. the bone test, bro. The bone you test. You didn't pass the bone test? 
Man, the key. fucking bone test? Fucking idiot. You checked around with Major. He's muscles, not bones. Yeah. Actually, I got an A on the muscle one, dude. <laughs> and that's the one that they caught me cheating for. But, like, I didn't <laughs> actually remember that. Uh, <laughs> she just... I got a detention for suspicion of cheating. <laughs> Literally, substitute teacher standing over my shoulder my entire fucking test. Watching me write all the answers, not looking at anything else, not cheating, and I get a fucking A on it. And I still get detention. Uh, no, this guy is too fucking stupid for an A. Let's give him detention. <laughs> Seriously. I, I blame that. Caesar. What? I blame our classmate. He made me cheat. <laughs> or, like, Wait, so think about cheating. Think of, so you're telling me it's his fault you had the concept of cheating and your teacher read your mind no, okay. and said detention. Okay, so in our class there was a group of fucking clowns. Literally the biggest <laughs> idiot fucking jock assholes. And they like like one day I think like I missed um like when they were like picking groups and stuff and then when I came back I needed a group, so they took me into their group, and then I just, like, ended up staying with them for the entire year. And, like, I don't know, they were always trying to fucking cheat and, like, make little cheat sheets and whatever. And for that one muscle quiz, I, like, the study guide, I slipped it between two drawers. And, like, uh, what was it? I was, like, trying to show it to them. I was like, yo, guys, check this out. Whoa, I just found out this super way for you to use whatever and then the substitute teacher like noticed me being like whoa oh, look yeah. at this and then during the quiz she comes over to me she looks over my shoulder and then she grabs it out from between the drawers like without even seeing it she just knew instantly where it was and like oh, no. i don't know caesar and george i think were the ones like always trying to cheat and fucking do all that that's about right. You know, you could try learning something. So. Yeah, I, I learned the shit whenever... Oh, my God. I, I can tell <laughs> so many stories from that fucking class, I swear to God, but I don't know if I should get into it. Yeah, we don't really give a shit about your boring life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're here for Colin, actually. We're here for Colin. <laughs> so. Okay, okay. She's a beast. But yeah, met in high school, been friends ever since. Been mm -hmm. through a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, so Colin just moved out of Colorado, and Kelly just moved into Colorado. Wait, what? is it? Col wait, I no, it's not funny. Colorado. Isn't, isn't it, it? Isn't it Tennessee? No, that's Eric. Uh, Which one are you? Kentucky, in Alabama. Uh, a little bit north. Ohio, <laughs> Idaho. Uh, uh. Not Idaho. I thought you were in Colorado. What the fuck? Uh, uh. It's below Michigan. What? Indiana. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I literally... Dog. I was like, Caught it's one dude. of those redneck fucking states. Kin it's the Middle East. No, wait, yeah. Middle East. No, it's the Midwest. Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> fucking got a tent in Iraq. <laughs> wow, we need to brush up on some geography. Holy shit. <laughs> uh. I just remember, I swear I remember you saying you guys were looking for a place in Colorado. I just thought mm -hmm. that's where you went. No, I think that, I think you're thinking about Janelle's sister. I don't fucking know. Because they're moving to Colorado. Um, but where, are we, where, where are we going with that? Yeah, where, where are we headed there? I don't know, I just felt like pointing it out. Um, but anyways, topic we're of the topic. day. Topic of the day. We're getting no, 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 no. I had one oh. more thing for uh, Colin. Okay, let's sidetrack a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lay it down. So for Colin, um, we, me and Hector both agree that he is at a skill level that is worthy of an org uh, when it comes to an Smash. Yeah, yeah. Um, org in particular, Moist Esports, because at the very least, you can absolutely do Moist Esports. I feel like they'd be super accepting of him there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I feel like that's a lot of praise, guys. I just I play yeah. casually. You're, I've never done. You said casually, but you literally made me shit my pants last time we played. 
like Dude. just defecate. I, I just. <laughs> Oh, uh, that one moment where he just looked at you and you shaved. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'm going to try to paint the picture for the audio listeners. So, basically, NBA. right, he's play and you, yeah, and so, <laughs> um, so we were obviously playing Smash, and I was at the edge, I was on one end, the right side of the uh, platform. He's Charizard. And he has like a, like a fire dash, I, I want to call it. I don't even know what the fuck it's called, really. But a fire dash, and it ran out right when it got into my face. Like, he was in my face and said, you get to live for now. And then turns around and proceeds to fuck up Hector. And I shit you not. There, I was turtling, dude. I, it was... <laughs> it was really bad. This well, who's your main? Like... Colin. Colin. See, I don't, I don't really play a main because I, I, I don't know. Good at I don't everyone. Tied down, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm not good at everybody, but I feel that each character brings a different skill set into your kind of main view uh, with each character because they all kind of have that particular thing they're good at mm. uh and through playing different characters you actually just become better all around with whoever you would consider your main so if would you like scope out the other players and see what you can do like around that counter picks absolutely yeah that's, that's a big part of the game i feel because there are some characters that just are especially i feel like light ones uh, against heavy characters if some people are really good with heavies even though they're slow um and then some people are really good with light characters because they're fast and they don't get hit but some heavies they just they throw up hits and if a light gets caught they're they're done most of the time so that's why counter picking is important uh, but not just between heavies and lights it's also like uh mario he's probably the best all-around character in the game because he can do basically everything against a balanced character like that who knows maybe you just want to throw another balance at him huh hmm. so, so gun to your head what is your like biggest hmm. like you had to choose one character who would it be so, like okay if i was like going into something and i really felt like i needed someone who would yes. be my best it would probably either be Pyra and Mithra or Byleth. Um, Male or female? Yes. Mm -hmm. What skin? What skin would you use for Byleth? Well, for Byleth, uh, the female red coat, white hair. These are. <laughs> well, now you're just speaking a different language. I, I, <laughs> Kelly just brought that out. Like I was like, oh, Kelly, you smash. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> Kelly smashes. Kelly smashes. I, uh, female Byleth, I think, is the best Byleth. She looks super cool. I like her leggings. I like her, her, her coat. Damn, it looks so cool. Hey, something's not right here. This kid what? keeps playing girl games. <laughs> <laughs> Don't out me in front of the internet. <laughs> yeah. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was my biggest question was like uh who do you so like if i were putting um, you against like uh like a steve or something like that would you have like a counter pick uh for someone like that like a pro steve fuck steve oh my god <laughs> i can't even begin steve is the one character that i'm just like well that that ruins it for everyone if you're good enough true yeah, I feel it that. just it is because you can what you can do with those even the blocks alone just being able to stop people because I put a wall there <laughs> like come on <laughs> that's pretty rough yeah <laughs> but you didn't used to like feel that way about mains like I remember you used to always ask me like who I'm gonna try to main yeah. and that's because I went through so many like oh I'm gonna main this person I'm gonna main this person yeah. oh and then I just kept moving on and moving on going back switching up and that's just why I'm just kind of like I'm I'm flowing I'm going with the flow I'll pick whoever I pick mm -hmm. yeah I kind of roll with uh, I like I like rolling with Marth now that I've played him so much uh, I just got Link and I got I, when I got Link Sora was unlocked for like the story mode. 
which I've been oh. also been streaming. Um, so I've got it. Oh no, Lil Mac, dude. Lil Mac is disgusting. Stink. He can be. He I can did be? not. I did not realize how gross he is. Yeah. If oh you... my god. His tilts are real nice, uh, especially yeah. for ledge kills, down tilt, and the side B. That uh, that's some good stuff. Uh, and his grab is even decent with it being his down throw, being able to combo and uh, up B. That's yep. really nice, especially since up B is better just standing rather than an air. Yep. Right. Um, but yeah, but his real weakness is his air game. He has real trouble getting back to stage. That's why. Uh, Little Mac counterpicks Link or Simon or Richter because if you can get him off stage, he's he's done. <laughs> True. Yeah, that was like the one thing. But like, I mean, you're able if you're able to close out a game in like or at least a stock in like fucking three hits if you're if you're lucky enough. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That, that he, was my experience. On his on his moves, that that helps him a lot. Um, he and he can be a super quick killer. Especially with his KO punch, people think, "Oh yeah, I got some damage on him. Maybe I'll kill him." And then his KO shows up, and they're like, "Oh, that was that was my stock." Great. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. But all right, Hunk, we can uh, we can you 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 can steal the show from Colin now. Okay. I guess. You sure? No, this is this is all inclusive. Okay. No, I know, I know. I'm just kidding. All right. So, topic of the day is zombies. Zombie apocalypse. Now, there's a lot of different directions we could go with this. Uh, there's video games, there's movies, there's fucking life situations. I don't know, whatever. Um, so one thing. Okay, what do we know about zombies? Like, just like the science. They're dead. Them. They're then dead. They're undead. They're not dead. They're okay, undead. but like, so I'm pretty sure there's only two kinds of zombies that I've noticed there's the ones that like die and come back to life. And then there's the like, just straight up infected kind. Oh, you mean you know? like, you mean like a human that's like lost, like, like, like only will is to kill you or something. Like just I gotta cut like in that. because heck you're missing mm -hmm. something vital. What am I missing? Some of the original movie zombies were three dead bodies that were cursed and risen from graves. Ah, cursed zombies. Cursed zombies. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, those. There's, I don't know much about. There's legitimately like a million type, like types of zombies with the collection of movies and video games. Caught especially, there's a million different kinds of zombies. Mm -hmm. There's Nazi like, ones even. <laughs> it's thank mostly you for Nazi ones. That up. Because there's even like different cultural zombies. Yeah. Yeah, we're all inclusive here. <laughs> Indian <What's> zombies. Indian <laughs> zombies. <laughs> so if you if there were to be a zombie apocalypse, do you think it would be like what kind do you think it'd be? You mean like, like so so okay, examples. There's the walking dead kind. Like, you know, the show Walking Dead, you right. know, they die, they come back to life, they're all slow acting. And then there's the zombie land kind. Those ones I consider like the infected kind, and they're all, they can run fast as shit and whatnot. I feel like they're pretty similar, actually. Like the Walking Dead and the yeah. zombie land. I feel like they're really similar, only one is slow. But, like, more accurately, I do feel like it's probably Walking Dead, because, like, I can't imagine if you're fucking undead, it's easy to run. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. That's, yeah, I kind of go back and forth and think in that way. Because, like, on the other hand, it's like, if humans had their full potential, it would be, like, uh, World War Z or Train to Busan, where mm -hmm. these guys are, like, in it to fucking win it. And then Walking mm -hmm. Dead just, like... <laughs> They they're they're over maths like uh their overpopulation is what's the biggest killer, and it's like, but it kind of counteracts with them being slow, right? So what would be the most accurate depiction? Um, I don't. It depends on the kind. Like with infected ones, I think it's you know like more probable that they would be a little more faster, 
and then the undead kind like their bodies are like continuously decaying and rotting you know so it makes more sense that they would be slow right i i feel i feel like um the cursed ones would probably be the fastest just simply because i don't even think it's like like, but they're, not a they, consciousness those ones have already been cursed. dead, and their their like muscles and shit already like decayed and. So it's like atrophied. a skeleton, like almost like a skeleton. Yeah. There's a dog barking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, how long can a body function without all this stuff that's needed, like brain material, you know? But I don't know. Like their ligaments are wearing down. They gotta. They're probably gonna end up falling and dying right there. Mm-hmm. Second time, I guess. Yeah, like the Walking Dead. Like, I'm sorry, what were you gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say because this this thought's been in my head this whole time. If we're talking about uh, like real world potential of a zombie outbreak, yeah, it wouldn't be zombies in the sense that we know them of them being cons- considered dead or undead or back from the dead. Uh, a zombie infection in reality would probably take the form of seemingly a viral and much stronger case of rabies that would attack you the right. human brain keeping people alive and in a state of bloodlust and just like a feral yeah. oh like a like crossed have you guys heard of crossed Mm-mm. i have um, not it's I mean, that sounds like the zombie land version of a zombie uh, yeah, I'm trying. It's... It also, like 28 days later, I think uh, the infection was through an animal. Oh, uh, and it, because with the the biggest drawback to the zombie monster is basically the concept of a dead thing moving around. We know that dead things can't move around because of all Chickens. the stuff that happens to our bodies. I mean, after they eventually, I don't mean immediately after death. I'm talking like later on with the decay and everything your body has rigor mortis and all this stuff and muscle decay as we've mentioning and your brain obviously the neurons won't fire as they're meant to and tell your body what to do that's why zombies in the kind of fantasy sense wouldn't ever really be a thing but in a much more like fungal or viral infection that causes you to crave human flesh that's so, what I was thinking too. Like, I, I feel like, sorry, Hector. Um, good. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Uh, <laughs> I, I was thinking that for. as well this whole time. Um, I feel like zombies in general just aren't really like a thing that really could happen. Something that's dead wouldn't move unless some crazy voodoo shit would happen. But mm-hmm. I do, I agree with Colin. The uh, feral shit, like rabies and stuff like that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, like just this whole virus that passes around makes everyone fucking crave blood and shit like that but i also feel like in this day and age i just don't see even that happening like everyone in we're in the beginning stages of it right now no 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 no, 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 no. okay so you know what actually maybe it could so this is what my thoughts are right so everyone who doesn't want to wear a mask right now is what's going to be the catalyst to the start of the apocalypse. Right. <laughs> Everyone's going to be like, it's my right to be a zombie. <laughs> so I get that shunt. A uh, ton of people at my work, especially the elderly, they do not wear masks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I won't be afraid to put them down. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my right. Put these crooks down. <laughs> got me a goddamn twanky. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, so, in yeah. we're saying in the real world, real real world possibility of that situation, they'd be like the faster paced infection, rabies type shit. If it's rabies, then nuts. yes, absolutely. If it's rabies, then they still have all their functionality. They just have one motive, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the kind of zombie I'm scared of. I'm. I feel like I'd do fine in the apocalypse. It was this if it was the slow kind. The others, <sighs> not so much. There's nothing you can do about rabies, right? Uh, uh no. 
or like a well, rabies kind of thing. I think you have would... things. You just ask, it's, you have to act quickly. Like as yeah. soon as you're bitten, you have to have like some kind of cure. So wait, you know what? There's a uh, fuck. There's that video game that is pretty much exactly like what we're saying almost. Well, it's, it's uh, the Last of Us. No, no, no. Uh, oh, Dead Rising. That's weird. Is it Dead, Dead Rising? Was Dead Rising. Yeah. I so. feel like that's pretty similar, actually. There's a lot of like zombie bosses that still have like consciousness and shit like that, and they're mm-hmm. rotting away a little bit. But like the zombie, I don't know. Hmm. That's how I think it is. I mean, also in that game, you can ride a motorcycle with chainsaws on the side. Captain, but that's just I don't know. So, hmm. in this day and age, I just don't think a an apocalypse is like something that could really happen. Like even with like how I was saying, all those people who just don't believe in this shit. Like I feel like they, I feel like they even at some point would be like, oh cool, <laughs> well shit, <laughs> Timmy over there just got eaten. I'm a uh, I'm gonna go to the shelter. But I also feel like there's going to be those crazy ass people who get like infected and don't tell people like don't tell people shit and still stay in the shelter. Right. People suck. People I think suck. like for yeah. zombies to happen, it would be very, very specific with flesh eating, attacking, roaming about. It right. just seems a bit too specific. Like rabies would most likely happen if anything be close enough to zombies would be that. But since I've heard like after the walking dead, uh, people know how to kill a human being by now. It's like, we know how to kill with the brain. You just kill the brain. You're good. Yeah. Unless a weird coincidence where they survive without the brain, whatever, but weird coincidence. At all. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that just made me think of something. So, in order for it to spread, whatever they're infecting needs to be alive. But they're killing it. <laughs> so does that um, mean, like, there's, like, really no spread of this? Like, what? at all? So, so, like, okay, okay, here's... So, like, their one goal is to fucking eat you, pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. Um... If they eat you, they didn't infect you because you're dead. Well, that's assuming the goal, as well as does this particular zombie need to eat all of this person? Yeah, like, did they and finish the job? Does the infect? Uh, it also could question, does the infection uh, imbue into the infected the urge to just eat or to spread the infection as well. True. That's the, uh, yeah, there's like zombies with like a motive rather than like a lust. Right, because uh, as I, it just made me think of it, uh, saying The Last of Us before, uh, on the other side of that, uh, a fungal infection rather than viral one, uh, because there are fungi in the modern day that control ants in a similar fashion to the way that the zombies were infected in the last of us through the fungus. Hmm. Damn. These are all some fucking crazy points for the goddamn philosophers of zombies. Oh yeah. Um, Oh yeah. So I, I don't think it's a likely situation for there to be an apocalypse. But I always sometimes find myself hoping. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I, you have no fucking idea. Like, this guy, Hector, has come to me so many times. And please don't, like, this is going on YouTube. This man is completely what? sane. It's not something he'd ever fucking do. But I <laughs> shit you not. This dude, like, ten separate occasions has said, I really feel like killing someone. What? <laughs> ten? At I don't least know. at the Joji concert, we were standing in line and I was like joking around. I was like, hey, what oh. if we like got to the front of it and they're just like, sorry, we're at capacity. And he's just like, oh, I'd shoot every single person here. I was like, what? No question. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh I'd kill every-. And then like 
we're obviously in this tight ass cramped ass line and he's like oh i'd murder every single person here i'm like i'm saying it loud too bro yeah he's like what you don't want these people to know that i'd fucking murder them i'm like heck the- <laughs> oh, should i not have brought my glock <laughs> <laughs> those are his words exactly he's a goddamn psychopath <laughs> you In know that, uh, what? that honestly might be my bad uh heck and i have a little bit of a history of killing people what oh, the know. fuck yeah. that's not something yeah. you admit yeah. on that's youtube epic. you're digging yeah, up ancient so. history here <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Heck and I would uh, smoke weed on the down low, and anytime right. we were in front of our families, we'd be like, oh, we're going to go kill some people, just to, you know, mess with yeah. them a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus it's just Christ. Became a running theme. <laughs> it's like that uh, meme where, like, the guy's, like, uh, watching, like, hentai or something, and it's just like, what are you doing in there? Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what God. are you doing here? There's a dance going on. I'm watching porn. Porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking Spider Man. That was so good. So, uh, I bet we all had these questions in middle school. I bet you were asked at least once, "What would you do in a zombie apocalypse? Where?" But that's yeah. not really easy, and that's not an easy uh, question to answer because it varies on the uh, fucking zombie type, right? Yeah. So, say in a in a in a Walking Dead world, right? Say like a hunt. No, I don't know. What's a good time to be put into this world? I don't think any time is a great time, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, greater just say it times right now. than most. Just say um, it like right now, like well, I don't think it'd be. It wouldn't be like right a now? sudden happening. It would be like a progressive thing. No, that's what I'm like, saying. I'm just saying this era of time. Like instead of sitting here and making a fucking dumbass podcast, we're like running for our lives. So, so you know, like Rick Grimes when he first got introduced into the into the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Let's say right around there, where everyone's still like keeping their distance but they don't know what to do yet they don't have a definite plan uh what would you do what's your go-to um uh, are you saying like wake up from a coma there's no one around like how he did uh to make it easier sure okay wake up in a coma empty hospital dead shit all around (laughs) fucking (laughs) um probably what he did he went home looked for his family um after that if i didn't find my family home i'd pack my essentials real quick assuming that there's like no threat of zombies around me pack the essentials grab my guns get in my car assuming i still have it with me um drive to the gun store right down the street load the fuck up Mm, um, that's assuming they even have anything after assuming it's not fucking yeah. boot like yeah um I don't know, find a defensible building maybe try to find my girlfriend <laughs> yeah um I yeah, we'll just... wanted to back up for a sec when you said wake up in the hospital for some goddamn reason I just snapped immediately to the hospital scene <laughs> from Evangelion <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh god it was like some oh, zombies god. just nutting over your fucking comatose body <laughs> did you watch Evangelion? no just I just know team. that that's literally been all over grow my feed up. since that episode grow up and watch it you gotta watch it grow up I should I know I know Colin have you seen Evangelion? I haven't finished it <sighs> that is the that's the that's the brink to boys to men. You should be embarrassed. <laughs> that's the test right. right there. I would argue that Gurren Lagann uh, passes that test too. Gurren Lagann? I like that sniper that's babe. She was cool. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> and heartbreaking. I can't know. That's the thing. Is No matter, yes, there's hot chicks and whatnot and fan service. I will never yes. get over the plot of that show never was it after the time skip 
Yes. Okay. I only watched up to before where they were like gathering yeah. up people from underground. That's. I mean, that's still very emotional with losing basically the main character, the second half of the main character, I should say. Um, but after the time skip, what they did was like it. It sticks with me. I will say that, and I don't hate it, but I hate it. <laughs> huh. Fucked with you too much, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like just a little bit too much. Like Devil Man Cry Baby. Like, why did I watch that if that's what the ending was gonna be? Is that the episode name? No. Uh, the, no, that Devil was a different show. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm going off. Devil Man Cry Baby is a different uh, one in general. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's actually quite popular. I was, I was thinking about adding it to my list. I don't like the animation for it. Yeah, Doesn't that, it look like that... like Joker, like uh, Persona or whatever? Persona, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. The people are really like tall, skinny, and lanky, right? Oh, like it's Aeon Flex. Wobbly like, and flowy. Was it Devil May Cry Baby? Devil, Devil Man. Man Cry Baby. Devil Man Cry Baby. Let's see. It makes me uncomfortable. Oh, it's yeah. a Netflix show? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Colin's just tearing up right now. <laughs> um, if you like this sort of animation, I would highly recommend uh, Aeon Flux. It was the uh, liquid television in the 90s. And super crazy weird animation it was all hand drawn by the same guy who made rugrats he was what like so un- he was so annoyed with having to draw a stupid chunky baby so he made like a, a super tall spindly looking woman and she's like a super agent she looks like a bdsm um uh, oh, donna matrix yeah. and kelly you are literally gravitating towards the most powerful women in history what the fuck you're cool as shit. It's a little bit it's sussy. Not... <laughs> They're really cool. There's like few male characters I really enjoy, but I usually watch it for the girls. The girls are like my interest. Mm-hmm. We watch uh, it for the girls for other reasons. For other <laughs> interests. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we're getting off topic here. Yeah, we're way the fuck off topic. Oh my god, sorry. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Colin, what are you doing in, in the event of uh, a uh, Walking thing Dead style apocalypse? You were about to say it. That's... Okay. So, waking up in a hospital? That's some heavy shit. I'm assuming that it's basically everybody's gone and stuff, not gonna find my family. Uh, I'm gonna stock up on fucking... Aluminum bats, wooden bats, something. I've thought about weaponry a lot because yeah, I was gonna ask just... weapon of choice. Oh yeah, no, I guns, you run out of ammunition eventually, everything. Blades, you gotta keep sharp and whatnot, but a blunt object, just keep it clean. That's all you need to do. And you know, I'd get like a freaking I think I'd honestly get like a golf bag or something, just uh straight up oh Who's that guy that's buddies with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I'd fuck with Oh, him. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Oh, Freddy fuck, Jones. What's his name? Jamie yeah, yeah. or something? No. Freddy Jones, I'm pretty sure. Is that what it is? Freddy Jones. No, not Freddy Jones. He wore a hockey, hockey mask. Yeah, I know. We know who you're talking about, at least. So. Who you're talking about. I know. Yeah, I have to look I'd do eyes. that. I'd do that. I feel like a vehicle is the hardest thing to judge. Because you don't really know yeah. what it's going to be like. Like, is there even going to be gas as an option? That mm-hmm. that seems a little... I mean, little... for at least a, a couple years, I think, gas is still viable. Like, it, gas expires, but you can still, like, siphon from other cars and fill yours up and stuff. But after a few years, you'll need to find something other than a car. I mean, yeah, yeah. But, like, if I just... Wore a suit of plate mail and rode a bike around. I ain't getting bit. <laughs> it's gonna be a little slow, but I'm not running out of gas. I ain't getting yeah. bit. Yeah. Maybe an electric bike. Yeah, that could work. If yeah. the blood is infectious and it spreads through like 
like bodily, like AIDS or something. Um, I don't think I would want to choose a blunt weapon. I would probably do a samurai sword, like Hell Michonne. Yeah. Hell yeah! But I would. It would just not make any too much sense because that character just wore short sleeve shirts, like two like tank tops, the entire right. time she was in the show, and mm-hmm. that's like that's like a you're gonna get killed. So, like even with a scratch, like some you got like a like a bloody nail that someone just poked a zombie with and scraped you, you're done. Mm-hmm. And once that shit gets into your eyes, like have you seen Twenty Eight Days Later? Nope, I haven't. So this guy looked up right, and there was like this crow, and this crow was eating off of a dead body that was infected, and that blood drop went directly into his eye, and he like he switched into like a matter of seconds. Jeez. Oh damn! Yeah, and. Oh. Uh, yeah, so it's just you're, gonna, you're saying you gotta wear a full on like hazmat suit for that shit. Just like a good like leather a jacket. A, I would yeah. definitely wear eyewear and wear a mask. I would not. Mm-mm. Okay, well, with the blade though, you're worried about infection through whatever splatter and whatnot. What about accidental infection from cleaning your blade? Get mm-hmm. cut. Cut yourself with it, yeah. True. I'm fucked. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> it wouldn't be... Isn't, like, one of the better things that you can do a bow and arrow? Because, like, no. or like a crossbow. Because, okay, crossbow. Listen, listen, you can keep using the ammo that you pick up. You don't necessarily have to clean it, because usually, like, since you can keep using ammo, you can go gun store to gun store and pick up some more. Or something like that. Just go to a Bass Pro, stock up on some fucking arrows. Yeah, but mm. that's gonna run out soon. Crossbow, I'd say arrow. no, because it takes so long to reload. I think a sure. bow, a bow is easier. a little bit more practical. It's easier to reload, but a crossbow is easier to aim. Here's sure. the thing, though: bows, you specifically have to be trained to wield effectively. Crossbows were invented for them to be wielded easily. Both, yeah. you can reuse the ammunition most of the time. Crossbow bolts are much shorter and less likely to break, so that is an important They're harder to find, though. Depends, but if you're hitting your marks, you really only need one shot. True, true. Yeah, And then even in that case, with bows and arrows, arrows, in this case, I would say you could kill these zombies or whatever you'd need with training tips alone, and you wouldn't necessarily need the good, razor-sharp hunting tips. And training enough. tips are super reusable. Not even yeah. just close enough, they're just they're a point, and if that thing is getting sent fast enough, it's going through whatever you're aiming at. Yep. Yeah. I feel like it's one of the more practical choices because if you're living in this long enough, then you develop the skill yourself. Um, I feel like I feel like the bow is the move because if you use a bow, uh, you have room for something else. Like uh, maybe you're carrying a sidearm or something like that, or you have that blunt weapon that is also attached to your back or wherever the fuck you keep it. Or the sword, or whatever the fuck. I just feel like there's more room for like a secondary kind of a situation there, should you need it. Alright, everyone, uh, let's go through primary and secondary weapons. What are you doing? Like guns, or just anything? Um, anything? Oh, fuck. Ray gun. Fucking... <laughs> 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 Something you can find at your local store or something. Right. Mm. Kayak. Mm. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, first. I have to really think about this. Alright, what weapons do you have, like, at your disposal right now that you could just grab from your house and you'd be <laughs> set? I, I'm literally holding my sword right now. What I have a crossbow fuck? in my closet. So handheld. Yeah, the crossbow in his closet. I have a bow in my closet. <laughs> well, it's just like Kelly's swords. 
Yeah. What That's about what you? Thinking. Who are you packing? Um, Colin. Um, the currently uh, compound bow and swords. There you go. How many swords? He's got primary and secondary. Uh, well, I have like a actual sword, and then I've got these really nice heavy training swords that I might use in place of bats because they do some. Oh, true. They're pretty blunt. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I feel yeah, like I, hold this here. I feel like a primary. I think it has to be the bow, just because like I'm kind of used to the bow still mm. as well from like when I used to fuck around with that stuff. Um, whether or not it's a recurve or a compound, I guess probably the compound. Uh, but it's also going to be harder to carry that way. Recurve you can put over your body. Yeah. So, I mean, I think compound just has more power behind it should you need that. Recurve is just going to take more skill all around, but it's more portable. And not all compounds really are that big. Like, I, I've, I've seen some that, I don't know, maybe like two and a half feet long, maybe less, about two feet long, and they pack some serious power behind them. So, I mean, even just for based off situation i'd go potentially compound bow for long distance and recurve for mid you wouldn't even need like a heavy pound one mm -hmm. probably not yeah that's your bitch to load though uh secondary i think i'd say sword. recurve i'm going recurve just for portability and carrying uh secondary okay. and even maybe so, a third that's like a classic bow and arrow a recurve? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Except compound. Love my recurve. But okay, moles, what weapons do you have at your disposal right now? At my disposal right now? Um, yeah, like in the house. Well, like I said, my sword. Mm. Uh, I have my Assassin's Creed Tomahawk. It's not bad. Oh. Uh, it's like uh, usable. I mean, the sword and the Tomahawk aren't usable, but it's what I got, so... I think the sword would be okay. It's dull, but it'll still like do a hit, you know. It might break on the first one. I think the tomahawk would first. Um, I have a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I just I don't think I have any like other uh, weaponry weapon. Well, no, I mean uh, I have guns galore here. Like I think I'm just you don't have any ammo or any of them. I have her dad's ammo, and for the shotgun, I have ammo. Kelly, weapons. Um, hmm. I have my pocket knife. I got. You know, I, I Jeremy and I went to the uh to the to the medieval times, and it was like pretty early into our relationship. I got, I got him a fucking uh, Zelda sword, a real one. The master sword. I got him a fucking master sword. He left it at his dad's house, but I would have used wow. that. It's not sharpened or anything, but it's bulky. Do you think all the weebs are gonna die off first because they think they're Roan or Zoro? Yeah. Depends how fit they are. I just right. heard Colin snickering. <laughs> Here's the thing. <laughs> they're either gonna die in their room with the sword somewhere never drawn or they're gonna That's die true. in the street with the blade halfway down the road and them being chewed on 20 feet away mm, yeah i feel it they went for a real shit. tanjiro uh, i think i need to start investing in more katanas oh yeah weapons i got i just want to flex yeah we know i got a fucking arsenal we got the nine mil glock we got the 12 gauge mossberg Got my recurve bow, got my machete, which I think would be my go-to in an apocalypse, because that thing's fucking heavy. It's not going to break. It's like a thick-ass blade. Machetes so are that... a good middle ground, actually. Yeah. yeah. I think definitely the machete. I've also got a few good-sized knives. Um, I have my katana from Japan, but it's not, it's not sharp, but it's pointy. But it's pointy. <laughs> yeah. Um... What else I got? Mm -hmm. 
I think that's it. Hmm. Yeah. So I think my go-tos would be the recurve bow and the machete for sure. If I didn't have ammo or anything for my guns. Mm-hmm. I, uh, so I think that just went, I think this just completed a little circle of primaries. Now my, my, my question is what are we driving? What, what, what are we for sure taking on the road with us? I think, and everyone, this is just a super popular one. It's just one of those transit vans. Mm. See, I'm like on the fence. Like on one hand, you want something that's like good on gas mileage. Mm-hmm. But on the other, you want something that's got some like fucking power to it. Like something you could put a up. train. A tra- that, Ooh, that'll work. That's actually not uh, bad. Yeah. Yeah. I have You're a recommendation. Oh my God. What's Say that? it. Um, try to find any sort of abandoned, like, Chevy or Ford work truck that has, uh, toolboxes built into it on the sides, because the backs and sides of those things are basically tanks. They usually come with two, uh, 40 to 50 gallon tanks that you can fill up both of them. Uh, so that's real nice, and you're basically just driving a roadblock. Uh, and you can even fill up everything mm-hmm. to make it even heavier. Yeah. Credit's I think it'd be pretty be hard to get 40 to 50 gallons, though. I mean, totally, but the capacity's there if you have the means. Right. Yeah, this actually just reminded me of something. So, in an, the event of an apocalypse, right? So, like, the uh, zombie virus or whatever the fuck it is starts here in America... Does it even go global? Is it possible for it to go global if we know oh, it's isolated? Definitely. They would shut shit down way before. We it's talking just army with the dead. They would not shut shit down. We talking boxing up Las Vegas? Boxing up Las Vegas. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. God. Dead Rising. That'd be cool. <laughs> that's Dead Rising, baby. I mean, that's. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If there was a contained zombie outbreak, you could make money off that shit pay people to go to zombie land you get to kill shit oh oh so much money oh my god they wouldn't nuke it they'd get greedy that's the that's the one thing they got wrong that's in that capitalism movie. They would baby. never nuke that shit they would make so much money that's true i feel that actually i would love to do that oh, and my so like cool. primal <laughs> boy need to fucking oh, yeah you know That'd be I cool. want a lightsaber. Yeah, like, I, I feel like killing someone right now. <laughs> just go to Zombieland. <laughs> go to Vegas. I thought you were just saying that as a, like, no, as no, a no, general no, 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 term no. again. I was like, bro, no, no, bro. I swear he's he's sane. He's okay. Nothing's happened. I promise. <laughs> I haven't had my break yet, so <laughs> be on the lookout. <laughs> Please be at home when you have that break. <laughs> Fuck, oh. dude. Gage is the first one getting murked. I swear to God. Gage, yeah. But, um, okay, so we went over weapon of choice, just went over vehicles. I like the train idea. That's pretty good. The train I just don't idea know how long good. you could sustain, like, the fueling of it. Well, it's... Um, you just get high enough until, like, I meant, like, not high. But High say like you run out of fuel and it's like a uh, train that runs off of coal or wood. Mm-hmm. You probably just find wood anywhere. Cut down a tree, mm-hmm. chuck Cut it in there. Too. And at that point, like if you stop the train somewhere, you're easily like just using all the uh, carts as your base of operation. Yeah, like, it's you could, easily you defensive. Literally just, yeah, you could just start a fucking fire inside of one of those shits if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. It'd be like super. Uh, y- you can't really move that shit. You can't tip it over with a multiple amount of people. So yeah. I think you'd be good. Mm-hmm. The only thing that might be compromising is like the amount of carts. Like you, so like say you're going right. to bed one night. Your bed is on what is in one cart. You're in another. You walk into that cart, and all of a sudden there's a fucking zombie or a poacher or some shit. It's like oh. Well, I don't have a security system on this thing. I didn't notice. <laughs> well, you put a security system. How the fuck do you put a security system on a train, honk? Like strings with cans on them or bells, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. 
I think the one problem with the train would be like it's not as long term as you'd like it to be. Like you can't start crops and grow your own food, which I think is really important. I feel like if you were somehow able to put the train on one of like the more abandoned tracks and like say even just like California, mm -hmm. you could definitely start a new life wherever you end up. Because, like, people weren't there to begin with. Zombies aren't going to gravitate there. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're going to stay more in the central populated areas that everyone was. Mm -hmm. Unless, like, everyone starts following you and all of a sudden they're there. But at that point, you fucking turn on that train and you dip. <laughs> yep. So. Got to find I out how to operate a train, though. True. It shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. kids did it in Polar Express. They didn't drive the train. Good example. It was the guys. <laughs> it was the conductor and the... Uh, we're talking... Actual... No, they were they were the ones that were driving the train because the other two were being stupid with the light up front. Was this after they reached the North Pole? No, this was before. They, like, hijacked it for a minute, right? No, not. these kids pulled a heist. <laughs> so just like... I don't know. No, they, uh, they he like lost her in the I snow because she didn't have a ticket. So the guy, the conductor, brings her up to the front, and those two idiots were like changing the light bulb. She's like, "Oh, they just told me to like do this while they're gone," and so they were the ones driving the train. Hmm. So. And then, like, uh, even after, oh, for like, a little those, bit. yeah, even after that, when those guys got back into the train, they were the ones like directing it. So, huh. this is still like my favorite. Uh, I know. Off this topic. is like one of my favorite. <laughs> <ones>. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Went over weapons. Went over vehicles. Went over trains. <laughs> oh my god i know someone who would love this conversation oh god <laughs> don't even don't even um so like setting down roots heavily defensible like what what do you think the place that you would want to be is kansas oh, I'm interested. sorry kansas uh, no, you, you guys can't see my face, but the second you said Kansas, my f my face, like, I just started squinting. I was like, what? <laughs> what? Um, there is nothing in fucking Kansas. You would live, like, a good week into the apocalypse without even knowing there's zombies. With that, like, if you had no news, it'd be fucking secure as shit. Yeah. That's not a but bad I'm way saying... of thinking about it. So yeah, low populated state, but like, would you want to be in a department store? Would you want to be in a military base? Would you want to be in a hospital, True. a prison, um, a little town with like just walls around it? Um, you know, stuff like that. Damn. Oh, I'm interested in yours. What, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Well, here's the thing. With... The original thinking of like if it's a dead thing and we got we want to keep it in a colder environment so it's harder to move. But if it's mm -hmm. something where it's an infection and it's keeping people alive, but obviously more zombie like, I'm kind of considering just jungle or forest heavy trees and build a really, really tall tree house because mm -hmm. I don't want to be anywhere on ground level. Ever. That's pretty fair, right. yeah. See, like, mm. how long is that gonna last, though, like, with a treehouse? Do you think it's, like, a lifetime kind of a lasting thing, or do you think you're gonna fall through and fall to your death before you get eaten by a zombie? Right. Oh, no, I mean, you could theoretically do it if you uh, rely on, like, farming and do uh, fruits and vegetables and you can provide for that stuff and keep it going because there's no reason for you not to be able to do that stuff above ground and like planners and stuff uh if you get it all set up and it's just you know basic upkeep there are people who live in tree houses and are in today so like it's not really a big deal i agree it just uh... seems 
it seems like any time you try to go to like a fortified place, it's it's a bad idea because there's no exit. In, in right. even in the case with the treehouse, is I, I'm gonna have some kind of exit if it doesn't end up working. Let's get all Tarzan up in there. Absolutely. I was thinking more George of the Jungle. That was the. That's, I, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I think I like the uh, colder climate idea. Um, I feel like I, I just have issues with slow the down. climate because of like growing food. I think I feel like it'd be harder. True. Um, ah, another thing that I just realized too is like, so we're looking out for zombies, but animals still exist to some degree. So, like, what are we looking out for with that? Like, are all the cows dead now, or can we like? I think I'd want to stray them? away from eating animals. Like, I'd probably go vegan or whatever, or vegetarian at least, just because like they might have an worried of the it carrying the infection. Yeah. But with with livestock and growing stuff, you have to stay put, and that's yeah. why, like every single like settlement they had in The Walking Dead was fucked up in the end. So, the I train... think staying on your mm-hmm. sorry, sorry. Uh, I think just staying on your toes, just keep walking, keep going. Uh, it's tiring, I... but. So that's what I was, that's why I really like the train idea. Cause the train idea, like you are constantly moving and the carts are big enough to where you really could do a lot with those as in fucking plant your shit. And like, say you're, um, stationed somewhere for a while, then you, and then all of a sudden it's not safe. You bring whatever you planted inside when you had it outside, you build some kind of contraption. For that, you can have like a, like one of the train cards be like a greenhouse. That's what I was thinking. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be I feel like the train is just like an like a really, really good idea for that shit. There's really only one problem I truly feel with the train, and is that is the amount of noise that trains just make by existing, you know? True. By existing. Yeah, well, like, yeah you can't moving... get out of there. You can get out of there, but you're constantly attracting things wherever you go. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're constantly moving, but you're still constantly attracting. There is mm-hmm. never any breaks. Yeah, I feel like you. I feel like there is a breather period, though. I feel like you can stay yeah, somewhere while, while for you're a moving. small one, but like they'll probably like if you're just going by a group of zombies, they'll see it, they'll hear it, and then you'll pass them, and they'll continue walking towards that direction that they see and hear the sound going. Like, until they reach something. They're not just gonna, like, stop hearing it and just, like, oh, whatever, I guess I'll go this other direction. Mm -hmm. I feel like they just keep going that same direction, like, just locked on it. I guess that kind of makes sense, because that was, like, the last thing that they, uh... Yeah. The last thing that piqued their interest, I guess. Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm sure. I, I think I'd want to be on, like, a aircraft carrier type situation no or like a cruise ship that's no that's an even worse idea why cruise ships if they're not well maintenance it takes so much to maintenance a ship which is why like all the carnival ships that uh because of covid had to be sold and like for scrap and shit like that you can't you can't um you couldn't maintenance it because they didn't have the money to do it because of COVID. So maintenance it in what was, way though? Like the fucking engine upkeep and like all the well, like uh, I'm saying, not like constantly moving. You can just have it parked in spot. Like they're not gonna swim to you. Just have it parked a little bit offshore, and uh, there's plenty of space on top to like grow crops and even have livestock. I don't know how long that would last, but at some point that thing is tipping the fuck over. What? Absolutely. Yeah, you're gonna... Yeah, I mean, you'll get cabin fever real quick. That too. You'll, uh... That'll happen way before bad shit will happen. Like, handling sewage, handling all the livestock crap, and... Yep. All and that is just... Gonna... Well, that would be mention. anywhere. Well, not to mention yeah, just straight up, up yeah, water. Just... Yeah. Well, not to mention just water in general. Like you, you're in the middle of the ocean now. What do you do? You can purify seawater. 
Right, but you're on a fucking cruise ship. Good luck like getting it. into the water. <laughs> what do you mean? How did you get onto the cruise ship to begin with, for starters? And for two, how the fuck are you gonna get down to the water from the top of the ship? Like, they it's have, not just like a further door down that parts. Just it's not down, just that flooded. top part. No, I know, but there's a door. There are doors down there, mm -hmm. but that is not safe by any means. You're gonna die by by ocean or flooding before you fucking do anything else if you're trying to get water. No. To be it's fair. not like you open the door and water floods in. It could. Oh. We're just talking about the possibility of animals being infected. Heck, you want to deal with infected sharks? Does that sound like fun? Oh. <laughs> infected sharks. Okay. That That's I didn't think aggressive. about. <laughs> that I didn't think about. Didn't think so. Glad I brought it up. I was thinking about that too, Honk, because I was like, okay, well, we played a lot of uh, Raft. Raft wasn't like apocalyptic or anything. It was kind of mm -hmm. apocalyptic, but it wasn't like it wasn't like zombie apocalyptic. It was just like you're out in the middle of the ocean surviving. So like, yes, you can purify water, but you're always at the constant mercy of the ocean and how it feels. You're at the mercy of the animals that live in it. And you have to, yeah. I don't know, you have to purify all your shit. Like, fishing fishing seems like a solid uh, choice, obviously, because it's endless. You have to stop the ship for a second to get some food. I'm saying, okay, keep the ship parked. He right? wants it anchored in one spot pretty much almost right off the shore, but they're not, like, far enough to where they're not just gonna, like, swim to it. Yeah, like, you could still do runs to the shore for, like, any essentials you need. Gather materials in order for you to, like, get what you need for water purification and, like, planting crops and having livestock if if you want to do that. Um, yeah. Hmm. I think it's solid. And assuming that the animals aren't, like, carrying the infection, fishing. Fishing. Yeah. I feel like it's harder for sea life to carry that. I would I would imagine it's harder for the yeah. sea life to carry the uh, the infection if they're know. not even remotely around anyone that would have it. Yeah. The only problem would be sharks. Like not a lot of fish have teeth. Or like Well no, oh, you're still you still gotta look out for the big guys. I mean at that point you're still you are ocean fishing, so you can pick up some really big shit and it's just you. You get a tuna. And yeah. Uh, backtrack just a little bit I'm not sure how much this would affect you but living on the boat and getting used to being on a boat and then making trips to land I don't know how your equilibrium is going to feel about that all the yeah, time that's, yeah. well that's the true. boat is so big that it, you don't really you get the won't notice. Yeah. you wouldn't notice yeah. it would basically just be like land because it's so uh, it's big, not, and it's not it's like you're in, like, not really okay. foot swell yes. waves. The boat seems big compared to you, but the boat compared to the ocean, very tiny. Mm-hmm. I feel like, but, like, I feel like Colin's kind of right that? about that. I've been on enough cruises to know that, like, once you actually do get back, it doesn't, it feels like you're not on a treadmill. Hmm. So, uh, but like the boat wouldn't be moving; it's just parked right offshore. There, it's not like you're in the deep water where there's huge swells and storms and shit. Well, I mean, like, there's still hurricanes off the coast, and with like yeah. constant changes. With what if a hurricane there. comes at you? Yeah. Um, I just won't be in Florida. How about that? Where are you gonna be, honk? Like I don't know, offshore of Cali. Yeah, that's a great idea. It's going to be like Noah's Ark. There's going to be a lot of people who would think they should be on that fucking boat. I think NorCal would be the place to be. Because I feel like it's rural enough. But there's also like, I don't know, decent vegetation and like decent climate. Yeah. I mean, sure. whether on the I boat or not. Well, Colin knows this. Colin, you you lived in NorCal. Like, is it is it for the most part just colder up there, or is it? Do you have well, like your really hot days? I'm presently there, so it's 
you know, it, it does have that nice mix. I will say it actually, it's much drier heat and drier cold. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much low lows, high highs. Mm. Well, I mean, I feel like I feel like one of those behemoths is something that might work. I thought the transit van was a really good idea because you're constantly moving. Uh, I also wanted to ask, what do you guys think is going to happen to cars like Teslas and stuff like that? Like, do you think electricity will still flow for a really long time during the apocalypse? No. Mm. Depends. Like, those power plants need upkeep and stuff for them to continue functioning. Right. I mean, what the fuck do I, What's going to happen to... Uh, uh reactor well we have we, we don't have any uh fucking what's it called energy in operation yeah. anymore right yeah nuclear energy in operation anymore do we no uh, like who would maintain that nobody that's what i'm saying like the so whole like, thing is if there was an apocalypse after a certain amount of years all the like nuclear power plants would like explode right yeah Absolutely. Oh, that'd be fun to watch. From a distance. <laughs> From a distance. <laughs> yeah, you really gotta figure out where the fuck those things are. <laughs> I mean, there's one right in San Clemente. I don't right? think I don't know it's if that one's I don't know if that's like a threat anymore though. I don't I think that's like long gone as a threat. Um I know the buildings are still there, but I don't know if there's any like foreseeable future where that shit explodes if it's not upkept. Yeah, I really don't know what those titties are all about. Yeah. Um yeah. Uh fuck. Is there anything is... more to sorry. Sorry. What? Actually you know yeah yeah you're right Kelly. There is one more thing uh a good a pretty good question. So we were talking about the different universes of zombies and stuff like that. If if there was an apocalypse, what version would you guys prefer the most? To kill, to live in, or to li- to live in, to try to survive in. Uh, slow and sluggish ones. Yeah, the I slowest. Walking Dead, most likely. Walking Probably dead, Walking yeah. Dead. Yeah. It sucks because he's. I don't know how fucking bad it got. Like I don't know how it got like from that to sh- absolute shit like only f- like a five percent of the world's population is still alive it's like i don't know how you fucking got that way they're dumb as shit i do feel like there has to be some degree of fucking stupidity for like that uh, uh the population of zombies to outweigh people like i feel like yeah. we're really, at a really i feel like we're way more advanced well, like than that in the Walking Dead situation, people didn't know that it it took headshots to kill them at first. You know, oh like, wait, don't military, they don't have knowledge of zombies? They don't have it anything. Didn't seem like it. Yeah, like people were just shooting them oh, in the body so, and then getting overtaken. So they didn't know what the fuck they don't. They had no concept of what a zombie is until. I think. Okay. Yeah. That's a scary thought. Well, we have the benefit of zombies on our side so yeah. we can of course the universe where we know how to kill zombies we don't get zombies right i think the sure. biggest like population that we get targeted first would be homeless true mm. i mean they don't have anywhere to go yep and then it's the republicans <laughs> <laughs> first people go homeless old people oh. fat people Oh, poor Fab. Oh, guys, it's been really great knowing you. <laughs> Not that big. I meant like you meant overly like like obese. Like obese. you can't run away from the zombies really. And you can't get away because you either get fatigued or you're too slow. Yeah. Yep. And you're just a big ass steak to them. Colin, what universe would you live in of zombies that we know of? I mean, if I got to pick, I'd, I'd want the ones that are 
dead and inexplicably brought back to life because that's the easiest to deal with because you know that like the cursed can... ones yeah yeah how do you deal with them though that's well that's the cold climate uh if you just go to a cold climate they literally can't move so because they're dead and they don't have any circulation in their body so mm. no heat they freeze hmm. it's not cold all the time every or anywhere though other than like Oh, I'm like strapping Greenland. on my snowshoes and going to South Pole, brother. Yeah. Hang out the penguins. Those infected penguins. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, be a that, nightmare. That start, those things are scary enough already. Y'all ever see the penguins. Yeah, y'all, y'all ever see <laughs> the inside of a penguin's beak? I think it's a macaroni penguin. Them shits are terrifying. A back they, got, thing they got teeth or something. Yeah, they got like weird ass teeth. I'm, I wish I could like show you guys. You can screen share. I guess I could do that. Wait up. I'm gonna look at their teeth. Hmm. Uh, their beaks are funky looking. It's like their tongue is like got little. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Kelly sees it. I see what you're talking about. Look. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. That is terrifying. What's yeah. up with their pupils? It looks like an asshole. It does. In their that one picture. It's like a really fucked up vagina. This is the this is the image I was thinking about when I said that. That's Anything the one I said. Pussy what is that bloody enough? one? Good God! Jesus Christ! No, I'm good, bro. <laughs> That's a zombie <laughs> penguin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks like he was mosquito bastards. This polar bear, polar bear like munched on or something. It says a killer wound most likely done by leopard seal. Yeah, I remember that was a big problem in Happy Feet. <laughs> yeah, it was. They also didn't tell you that the penguins themselves were problems. Everybody roots for seals until you find out they kill penguins. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> fucking... If that was infected, I'm killing myself. Should call her. <laughs> what? <laughs> What the fuck? What? It looks like the 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 <laughs> mounts kind of look like a vagina. Guys, the pendusi. <laughs> pendusi. Mm-hmm. Pendusi. Hear me out, guys. Hear me out, guys. <laughs> yeah. We just have to bite on a wooden spoon. We're good. All right. Anything else for? Zombies, I, I'm drawing kinda, blanks I, here. Yeah, this is your whole topic. I honestly figured you'd have more. I mean, it, we we don't have we don't we don't have a whole lot of time if you just want to talk about the thing. The thing. Oh, Kelly. Okay, we're gonna move on topics now. <laughs> Kelly, take it away. <sighs> All right, guys. I'm gonna plug you with the infamous Reddit story, the poop knife. Elaborate. So, Please, for the love of God, elaborate. <laughs> I got, I got to let it in. So, um, there was this Reddit story, and this guy was, uh, him and his family were like very notorious for leaving logs of shits, like a big, massive logs of shit that you can't flush. So the family, growing up, had a knife to cut it in half, so they can flush it properly. And it's a universal knife they kept in the laundry room, and they just picked it up and then cut it in half. And I assumed wash it. I would. I would. And and place it back. And he grew up knowing it was something normal. Like if someone had big shits, they would just use a poop knife. And he went to his friend's house, and he had to go to the restroom. And he's like, hey, dude, where's your poop knife? They were like confused and like laughing. They didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. 
And so he was like left stumped, like, what the? I thought this was like a normal thing. And they were like, what the fuck are you talking about? So him and his family just lived in the dark with a poop knife. What the fuck? Bro. This is real? It's a real story, a guy. Uh, wait, uh, wait, wait. So, wait, uh, so back up again. So he just thought it was like a like a normal thing to have a poop knife. He didn't like kill anyone yeah. with this poop knife. <laughs> no, <laughs> this... I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Honestly, I'm gonna be real. I was just like, you just it's... ate the blade of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's still kind of graphic, but no, it's nothing gory. It's just something that's like. Like it, it's like seriously, like that actually happened. Well, the whole family needed it, or just the boy? whole. It was like as common in the family as like a Fe- Febreze bottle. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, hey, do you got the you got the Airwick? <laughs> <Bro. laughs> Mom, where'd you leave the poop knife? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just oh like God. the fucking, it's like the piss drawer shit. <laughs> Wait, you guys don't have a piss drawer? <laughs> oh my God. That's so good, actually. So, like, would it be girthy too, or just really long? It's big enough to where you can't flush it. I don't know how cutting it in half would work. Maybe dicing it. I don't... Uh, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you know what <laughs> they just get like a fucking potato masher <laughs> oh, <laughs> or like a quiznart blender <laughs> and ninja cake mixer a ninja bullet oh my god <laughs> Oh, the chopping block thing where you put the garlic in and you like chop it. You have to like. You're gonna like my nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good God. Yeah, that this was... reminds me of them. Um, have you you guys have seen Big Mouth? Oh God, uh, yeah. A little that, bit. I know exactly what scene you're. Are you talking about the? Colin, have you seen Big Mouth? I've seen some of it. Some of it. Okay. Well, I think it was in one of the newer seasons. But there was an episode where uh, all the kids go to a summer camp. And one of the boys is, um, he's like scared to shit in public or like away from home or whatever. So he's holding his shit in the entire time they're at camp, which is like two weeks or something. I don't know. Oh, and, shit like and, and like close to the end of the trip, he's like in so much pain, he can't hold her anymore. <laughs> and his, oh, his he best friend shit come out of his like, asshole. helps him out like in the woods. He's like basically he's literally in the position of like birthing a child and he's like shitting a gigantic shit turd and it's literally the size of a fucking baby. Yeah. And like that was not a happy scene. <laughs> when it comes out they look at it like it is a baby. They're like, "Oh my god. I'm so proud of you." <laughs> it's good. It was, it's it a boy. Weird. Yeah, it was not a fun... That was one of my least favorite episodes. Pussy. I thought it was funny. I don't know. Uh, Everyone yeah. seems so scarred by the show. I think it's... It funny. is! You saw little fucking girls lay nude. What the fuck? This is weird. It's lay nude? Yeah, there was, a, there was a scene in that same fucking show where, like, these, uh, Missy and... Yeah, they show the, the like, little name. girls' as vaginas and stuff. And tiny little... Yeah, it was... They went to, like, a sauna where all these, like, women were, like, trying to be empowering. Like, oh, you can't tell... A boy can't tell you how you should look or some shit like that. And, like, they're all fucking naked because it's a sauna. And these two little girls, it's like, bro, that's not right. What do you think hentai is? Hentai is completely uh, different, porn. sir. Exactly. There, there is some actual child porn in hentai that I do not condone, but there is hentai is like some of the good stuff. Like at least they're fucking a cow and not an infant. What a cow! Uh, you guys don't watch those ones? 
Yeah, so um, Colin, it's anyways. been a really great time talking to you. I can't imagine you're going to want to talk after this. Um, you know, honestly, I'm just still stunned that an entire family used a poop knife because they were <laughs> all in, apparently uh, cursed with incredibly loose assholes. Yeah, what, what the kind fuck? Of, what kind of knife do you think it was? I feel like I'm it picturing it as a be... butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> You think like they're knife. just reaching in with like their like their pointing it finger did... on top of the knife, cutting it like a fucking <sighs> steak? I was thinking like a Bowie knife, like a big ass knife. No, well, <laughs> can't like... go fancy on a poop knife. You gotta like. <laughs> uh... <sighs> I don't see a dollar Japanese fucking sushi <laughs> knife or whatever. Or my own Malay one. knife. <laughs> fucking pulls out the katana, bro. What the fuck? That's like the most disrespectful thing you could do to a fucking like a piece of silver. Uh, like work yeah. of art. No, I'm at like you're talking about like a sword. Like that's the most disrespectful thing because it's like only supposed to be used when you're supposed to kill someone, right? And you're using it to cut your shit in half to flush it. Oh uh, my gosh! Got, like a planter shovel or something. You know, I was gonna say this reminds me of that one clip uh, where they're talking about like wiping uh, their asses, and some dude says, "Wait, you guys don't like hold the toilet paper under your asshole and like catch it." We need we need schools to teach certain things. Seriously, man, what the fuck is the curriculum right now? I don't want my kid to grow up with a fucking poop knife. <laughs> People got issues. Yep. All right. Well, I think I think right there is where we should uh, probably wrap it up. We're gonna end it on the poop knife. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, by the way, Kelly, for this episode's thumbnail, I'm gonna need a picture of you, like looking at your hand. You can use your phone or whatever. But I'm basically gonna like trace you and then put a poop knife in your hand. No, put a giant turd in one hand, <laughs> knife in the other, and, and, a, and, and a katana in the other. <laughs> <laughs> Surviving the zombie apocalypse with the poop knife. <laughs> I think I think garden shears would be best. <sighs> But then you have to clean them, and once they get inside in between each other and get rusty with poop. All right, guys, thank you for listening to this episode of Camping Buddies. Uh, if you guys want to check out Mysterio, I don't know if he's ever going to make content, but he'll probably wind up on this podcast again someday if you can still stomach us at that point. Uh, thank you for coming on, Colin. It was a really great time. Uh, this has been Hector, Kelly, I, and Colin. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye.